Hello guys and welcome to Zev's Car Detailing. In today's video I will be doing a machine polish on the bonnet of this project Mercedes A-Class. Uh, in my previous videos... <coughs> Hello guys and welcome to Zev's Car Detailing. In today's video I will be showing you how to machine polish this bonnet here on my project Mercedes A-Class. In my previous videos I did mention that uh, I did a, a snow foam wash using Meguiar's uh, snow foam sort of a kit and finally I, I got the chance to actually spend some time with you guys giving you an introduction on after machine polish, what buffing rights to use and what polishing I'll be using. So the one I'll be using today is the Ultima Meguiar's compound polish. I think that, that is by far the best polish <coughs> to remove swirl marks. Um, the polish here is made to remove swirl marks. It's uh, Ultimate Compound Maguire's polish. So you'll see the before and after effects. Uh, I haven't polished the vehicle. I haven't even hand polished it. I just used Maguire's snow foam um, a few days ago. But today I thought I'll just show you more depth um, details on the machine polish, what techniques to use, and the speed settings on the machine polishing uh, kit. <coughs> so, the best thing to do, guys, is to, I would say, put it on, there is six settings on the machine polishing six being the highest, and then two being, you know, one being the lowest. So, if I was you guys, my advice is, is to put it on number two. That gives you a little bit of a speed just to spread uh, the polish onto the bonnet and then I will then go to maybe 3 or 3.5 just to speed it up a bit and just embed the polish onto the paintwork and then I will use the uh, I will then use the AutoSmart microfiber cloth just to buff it off so here goes guys always try and place it so all the way down like so, and then up again. Like so guys, and then I will start on number two, just to spread the polish evenly, uh, and then I will stop and I'll give you the next guide. Uh, be before I go and actually start doing this <coughs> polish, the buffing pad I'm using is a blue one. So, the blue one has been the softest or the lightest sort of a buffing pad um, for the paintwork. So I think the highest grade is, I believe, is black, which is the darkest um, and the most sort of, uh, I would say, more depth of a buffing pad. But that is for if the vehicle has not been polished and the paintwork is, you know, full of soil marks. So this car, um, you know, doesn't have many. Uh, so that's why I'm using the blue buffing pad. Guys, when you do your machine polishing, always do it up top to bottom and then top and the bottom to top again. So do it from all the way down and then up and down again and up again. And then the, the next time you when you polish again, you do it this way. So I'll show you guys.
Like so guys, so this evenly spreads the polish onto the point work here. Now you can see there is still marks here. Um, so that's because I haven't put it onto a higher setting. So it hasn't spread it, you can see white marks here and here. So I'm gonna try and go over it again. And that hopefully should uh, you know, spread evenly onto the paintwork. If you do come across these marks here, which they haven't gone yet, uh, that's because I've maybe put a bit too much polish on the buffing pad and I never took enough time to go over it. So, uh, so yeah, guys, so if you do come across that, just use a buffing, uh, sorry, a microfiber cloth and just wipe it down and start again. So that will go away. Uh, it just, that's just too much layer onto the uh, panel, which is why I see these white marks. So guys, I have done, I have done up and down and then across as well. That's the, that's the way you have to use this machine polishing kit. It's not very hard to use. You just need to apply a little bit of pressure just to control the machine. Otherwise, it's just gonna go all over the place and you might damage it. Uh, so apply a little bit of pressure and just slowly, you know, just take your time in doing it um, up and down and then left to right and vice versa, guys. This is a buffing pad I'll be, sorry, my proper cloth I'll be using. Uh, <clears throat> I did mention in my previous videos, uh, it's always to do it in a circular motion. Uh, this just spreads evenly onto the paintwork. So not too much pressure guys, just a little bit of pressure will be enough for, for you know, uh, the paintwork to be buffed out. And you can see guys, the white marks I was here, I use a microfiber cloth and it's it's pretty much gone now, so. <clears throat> and there you go, guys. That's very simple, um, very easy to use. <coughs> You can almost see the difference. I can see my reflection on this side. If I sit here, it's a bit scruffy, it's a bit gazed. But if I stand on the right side, it's pretty much crystal clear. And that's just one coating of the polish. Now to do a machine polishing to the whole car, it depends on the size of the vehicle. You can do it as a one day job, but you'll be then doing at least 10 hours. Um, and that is a bit too much because you're constantly just pol polishing the vehicle. <coughs> so the best thing to do is to do it in a couple of days, so maybe four to five days. Just concentrate on one panel first and then maybe do the bumper on, on the first day. And then maybe the second day you can do maybe the side wings or the doors. So just do it bit by bit guys, just you know, step by step. Uh, otherwise you'll be here forever if you were to do it in a day which is, it is possible, but you don't want to do that because you'll be breaking your back. So uh, yeah, that's, that's my advice to you guys, is to just take your time. Um, it is quite time consuming and you do need patience to do it, but the results are astonishing because you then protected the whole car uh, with, a, with a paintwork. So you won't have any sort of stress or you know, causing any damage to the paint because uh, it's already protected. So I did this half, of the machine polishing. Now I'm going to use this. Bear in mind guys, there's rust marks and you know, that's due to age and wear and tear. So I can't really do much about it because I don't have the experience to do that or the knowledge. So unfortunately I just have to leave it as it is. But you know, um, I might just do a little bit of touch ups where I can see those bigger uh, chip stones just to maybe hide it. 
uh, apart from that guys this you know this this binder here will need a respray um, but if you divide it down to the bare metal so you know, don't we spend too much money on this vehicle because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a project car after all so uh, on a tight budget but at least I'm showing you the guidance and the method and the technique to use you know all the machine polishing kits and the buffing pads and the polishes so I will explain further into my next content or videos uh, but for now, for now I'll just cross you off on the bonnet here uh, just to see you know so you guys can see for yourself the difference of before and after yeah guys another, another sort of a tip I can give you is to always shake uh, the polish if you're going to use it I mean I would recommend Maguire's Ultimate Compound because it does remove soil marks <clears throat> it won't be 100% but you will see the results guys um, especially on a black car you see more shine more sort of glossy effect uh, on the panels but obviously just keep it you know a good sort of a shake so there's no lumps in the actual polish so once that's done guys just open the flap and I would say just use four so maybe one dot here two third one and then the fourth one so four dots of polishes is more than enough and we start again guys so again just dab it here if you if you if you do apply too much guys don't panic um, it's not going to damage the paintwork, it's just a polish. Use a microfiber cloth and just apply a little bit of pressure just to remove it if you think you've added or put on too much. So, lastly guys, just, just dab it onto the paintwork and then I'll use number two again, which is like, I forgot where we were. Two is the, the highest out of the six, so. There you go guys, it's just a repeat uh, format of how I did it on the first one. Again, just use a buffing cloth and just do circular motions. <coughs> With regards to the machine polishing, always have your back straight. Um, or will, or otherwise you will damage and you will have back aches. So yeah, that's the first thing to step on. I'll make sure have a straight back and then machine polish rather than just you know if you're bending over you're going to cause uh, a bit of pain on your lower back which is not ideal that's all we're going to do guys just uh, circular motion nice and slow with a little bit of pressure and always just embed into the paintwork like so you can use the other side as well let's get a clean cleaner cloth A 
Again, if this all, well, if you see white polish are stuck onto the paintwork, just apply a little bit of pressure on the microfiber cloth and it will just go away sort of thing. So, and there you go, guys. This is the obviously like an introduction video of how to machine polish your vehicle using the right method and the right technique. So, yeah, guys, I have done the first layer, layer of the polish. So, and that's the video guys, that's the end <laughs> of my project car Mercedes A-Class. Hope you do enjoy the video. Um, it was just an introduction on how to use this and what methods. In the next video, I'm going to try and concentrate on using the Maguire's polishing uh, glass kit, which is, is like a spray liquid bottle. So I'm going to try and buy that this week, hopefully, or next week. And I'll make a video on these. But guys, uh, on my coming videos, I'll be concentrating on the side as well of the panel of machine polishing and the wheels as well and your tires. <coughs> There's a way of cleaning your tires as well. A lot of people do. They just wash it with a, you know, like a, a liquid or some sort of water and just wipe it down. Um, the dirt is still stuck onto the tire. You can't get um, a tire brush now from Auto Finesse. I believe they sell them um, online on the market now, uh, which is ideal. So I will show you a guide to that as well. Again, it's very simple to use. It's nothing too complicated, guys. Uh, but for now, I'll just say I just, I just wanted to concentrate on the bonnet and doing the machine polishing on this vehicle. I mean, the results already is astonishing. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'll try and do a short video uh, zoomed in of this panel here. and. I could see myself. It's like almost high definition uh, clarity. Uh, like I said, Maguire's are the best way, you know, the, the best company that I've known. Their polishes are 100% and the results are just astonishing, guys. So that's it, guys. That's for me. And I'll see you on the next video.